question of the day. And that's right, it's day because there is a new one of these suckers every day on this channel right here. Weekend confirmed. I'm Garnet Lee, my man Ryan over there holding down the other side of the camera for us right now. I'm going to go with, uh, actually, he helped me select this one. It's from at that sports gamer. And in light of the news that just came out about Sony announcing, you know, the future of PlayStation on February 20th, because who doesn't think about February 20th for big announcements? You know, that's kind of weird, right? I'm just going to stop for a second. You would think, you know, if you're going to announce, finally announce your PlayStation 4, which everybody's known about forever. We know it's Orbis. We know people have dev kits. We know people are getting excited about it. You would think that, you know, you might do a little more build-up than just like, bam, okay, we're gonna talk about it in three weeks. I mean, I think you either go one way or the other. You either go, you know what, we're gonna talk about it tomorrow. And then it's like, oh, oh crap, they're gonna talk about it tomorrow, oh my god, that's amazing. Or you do like the slow burn thing, you know what, and say, yeah, we're gonna show it at E3. Because it does sort of leave you, I mean, I always thought, it remains to be seen what they're showing. You never know, it might be something else, which would kind of be like a real, like, you know, I'm trying to think of a way to not say this in a nasty way. It would be really awful for whatever it was that was being announced, because now everybody thinks it's PlayStation Next, and if it's not, it's like, oh, check out our new streaming game service. Everyone would be like, oh, click? It's like, I'm gonna go watch a Friends rerun, because that's gonna be more interesting than this shit. Anyway, We'll get on to this question here, which is uh, at that sports gamer says, "What is the biggest factor for you in which console you'll get first between Xbox and PS4 price or first-party titles?" Well, first of all, if I only had one that I could get, I go get another job because you got to get both. I mean, really serious. If you're a gamer, you're gonna have to have both of them. And I think whichever one you're gonna get first is gonna be more a matter of which one comes out first. If they came out day and date, then it does really start to get hard. But I mean, I'm, you know. I don't think it's, it's definitely not a price thing, because both of these game systems are going to be priced about the same. I mean, yeah, one might be 50 bucks or more, less than the other, but when it comes down to it, if you're just buying one, then you're already looking at the economy of, I'm not buying two machines, so the $50 difference, if it was one, you know, you'd be, you know, I'm going to decide which one I like better. So then is it going to be on first party titles? Well... Each one will probably launch with a first party title or two, but you gotta figure that if they're coming out in a similar sort of time frame, then it's gonna be more multiplayer, uh, multi-platform titles, right? You know, Ubisoft and EA, they aren't gonna make something just for uh, the next Xbox, the next PlayStation, because the development cost of these things will be way too high. So you're gonna look at like whatever Microsoft Studios has cooking, they probably have one or two games cooking for the new, uh, new Xbox, and then Sony Studios internal probably has I don't know, maybe two or three titles cooking for like launch window. And it would have to be pretty amazing to sell me on something. I mean, I don't know. Maybe a Halo would do it, right? I guess, I guess. Although you know, now, that, now that the competitive market has pulled away from, or the competitive gaming circuit has pulled away from Halo 4, there's a lot of, there's a lot of people going back and saying, is Halo 4 as good as it should have been? I really liked Halo 4, I'm just saying. Uh, I don't know what the Sony, what would the Sony analogy to that be? What's the Sony analogy to Halo right now, Ryan? I mean, Gran Turismo used to be it, but I don't uh, think Gran Turismo is going to, I mean, maybe in Europe, but I don't think Gran Turismo in North America really gets you going. Yeah, Beyond Two Souls? I mean, maybe Beyond, it might be PS exclusive, right? Yeah, that's, that's this that's, gen, that's, It's PS3. That's this gen. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. God of War title? Maybe. Ooh. Maybe, but I mean, the God of War team is like crunching their asses off right now to finish the game they're on, so unless there was another team doing a different God of War game, which is not out of the question, that's like possible. An Uncharted. But... An Uncharted, right, but, you know, Last the dogs Us. are really heavily involved in Last of Us right now. I don't know. So I think the first party title thing is less important. I think really what it'll come down to is... You know, some sense of loyalty, which has really eroded a lot over the last cycle. And then, which console you think has the best overall experience? And so far, that's really been Xbox in the online space because of Live and the way they've delivered their video apps over Live and the, and the community that's built around that. I think that Sony has an opportunity to totally come in and sweep that away from them like they have had before because... Orbis is going to be, I mean, that's a codename for PS4. Orbis is going to be a new take for them, right? They're abandoning Cell, they're going to new architecture. What I'm really hoping that is along is, is that, look, if they were willing to rethink that, that they're also willing to rethink how they approach online. And look, right now, the hotness in the way you approach your friends lists in anything that's online and mobile is Facebook. And if Sony had the balls to come in and say, you know what, we got PlayStation Network, we got some links, they've already done some stuff with Steam, right? They already did some, like, some connection with Steam, so they're, connect they're, they're willing to work with other partners. What if your friends list on the new PlayStation was just your Facebook friends? 
I think that would be a big trump card for them. I think if they could do something like that, it could also be your Twitter friends, but I think that Facebook would really be the sticky glue that would like suddenly change the game. That would be an entire game changer. Your Facebook friend system totally integrated into one of these systems. And I think Xbox has to be thinking the same way because if you're not, you're just not paying attention. You know, Facebook is increasingly becoming a service. It's a service that delivers a number of things that help us share our lives with other people. Videos and images and games we're playing and things that we like. And both these consoles need to be really tied into it. So I think that it could well be, and you know, Live, Live likes what it does and Live likes charging for its service. And Sony carved out a really cool space for itself with the PlayStation Plus. It's a great value for the customer. It does a lot of great things for them, but it's not just tied to multiplayer gaming. They are, they've stuck to their guns and said multiplayer gaming is free. So I think there is a door open for them to do something really cool in the social space. I'm anxious to see what that's going to be. They've got a great uh, set of content that they can deliver through their entertainment services. It remains to be seen, though. You know, the thing that Sony's been able to do lately is, like, they've been the company that could screw up a wet dream, right? They've got everything lined up, everything perfect. You know, cool mobile devices, great entertainment options, beautiful televisions, all these things that should work together. But then, because there's such a big company with all these different factions inside of it, they seem to have that trouble, you know, that friction between all the gears. They get it running right. I mean, they're still Sony. They still have a lot of cool stuff. Anyway, that didn't really answer your question. It's going to come down to your personal preference, right? It's going to come down to which one you think is going to be the best for you. And I think both of them will be really interesting. I think both of them will have a lot going for them. I think both of them will be really powerful. I think both of them also, when they come out, not going to have a lot of games, and you're still going to be playing Grand Theft Auto this fall when it comes out. And that's what I got to say about that. Tune into the show, watch the daily, and I'm out. Uh, you know, Red Dead before that, and so those particular types of games really suck me in because I feel uh, as soon as I'm out of the world, I can't wait to get back in the world. There's a lot of stuff to do and explore, and I really get bored. Um, and that's sort of those are sort of the games.